I played the Project Castaway beta. Here are three things that I think are great about the game and three things that I think could use some improvement. Stick around for the end of the video for a bonus tip. I managed to get somewhere in the game right now where you shouldn't be able to reach. Project Castaway is a game developed by Martin Pole Inc. It's a survival crafting game set in the Pacific Ocean. You can sail the ocean, hunt, explore unique islands, and gather resources as you fight for survival. It's currently in early access. I'll put a link down in the description below if you want to learn more about it on Steam. Starting with number one, the water effects in Project Castaway are absolutely next level. I haven't been in this much awe about water effects since the first time I played Bioshock. Now, is it the same as Bioshock? No, but I'm just simply saying I'm extremely impressed with the water effects and I just remember that same feeling of being like, wow, like water can do this in video games? This is so cool. Part of what makes it feel great is when you swim, like for example, when you're swimming to this boat between these two islands, you feel like you aren't really moving. Like there's a real sense of urgency that you need to move faster. You're swimming at the top of the water and then a wave hits you and now you're all of a sudden extremely deep deep underwater. It's a very, very eerie feeling. Number two, I like the building aspect of it. It feels like the forest. It feels like Sons of the Forest. Just like in the forest, you have a survival booklet with a list of things on every page that you can build. You can also make the blueprints ahead of time, which is nice, and then add resources later. I really like that aspect when it comes to survival games. There's a lot of games that kind of copy this style. I would love to see something about this, though, that would make it unique, like make it your own. And for those of you watching, what do you think the devs could do to make it unique? I would love to hear from you down below. And a third thing that I really love about this game is I love the back. Pack. I love how it looks. I love how it feels. I love how you store things. It can be a bit challenging to transfer meat from the backpack to the fire, but overall, I think it's a big plus for me, and I really, really like it. Let's get into what I think can kind of be improved in the game. The game is in early access, so there's going to be bugs. There's going to be glitches. That kind of goes without saying. Before we get into that, if you're enjoying this video, consider subscribing. It really helps me out. I'm really trying to grow this channel and grow this community, and I would love your support. First thing I want to talk about that I think can get improved is the screen has like a filter on it that feels like motion blur mixed with with like a 3D filter. I get that you wanna simulate exhaustion when the player gets low on food or energy, but honestly, I would have a better experience without it. My wife played this as well, and she kind of felt the same way. Like you kind of have to focus on just the center of the screen and try not to look at the outside of the screen on the edges of your screen because it, it, it that motion blur feature is really, really nauseating, at least for me. Number two, the med kit box can't be picked up. And uh, this is just a small little gripe, but if I was in a real survival situation, I would keep that box with me. I would attach it to my backpack and I would use that as extra storage and I would love to see something like that implemented into the game. Third thing I would say is when you shoot an animal, the arrows kind of just bounce right off of them and I'm sure this is going to get patched up but it kind of does take away from the immersion. I, I don't know how I don't know how to program things. I don't know how easy this would be to fix but see how the arrows just kind of they pop right off, kind of takes away from the immersion. Before you go, I have a bonus pro that I absolutely love about this game. The sunrise actually moves across the sky, and I love that. Like, I lived on the road full time for three years, and I would often be in the middle of nowhere. Seeing the sun simulate going down in real time is such a cool feature, and it reminds me of being on the road. As promised, here's how you can reach the lighthouse in Project Castaway, as of right now, at least. I'm sure this is going to get patched down the road, but I just wanted to see what was up there. If you're new here, consider subscribing to stay up to date with everything that's new. I'm still a small channel. Liking the video really helps me out a great deal. I appreciate your support. I'm Mr. Miko, and I'll see you in the next one.